Soul Bear. How did you guys, how did this whole venture start? Well, we first started about, like I say, about 23 years ago. And one of the main are uh, in agriculture, in agricultural crops. And two of the biggest problems in, in agricultural crops is uh, the sun, sunburn and not enough water or how a plant works. And so there were a lot of things you used to think, well, a white surface would reflect the light. So we wear, you know, paint buildings white or you have things uh, to keep things cooler and, and somewhat true of reflection of light. But we started looking into it and looking at crop yield versus different types of treatment. And like I said earlier in the program that um, we've changed varieties. People want all these nice varieties of apples. We used to just have basically a Red Delicious and a Gravenstein. And today we have Pink Ladies and Galas and all those different things. And the same is true with the almonds and almost all agricultural crops, all the new uh, sweet corn varieties. But um, plants grow optimally at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's their optimum production. If you like what you see, you can watch the full episode right here. When you get there, please like and subscribe to the channel. That's where photosynthesis is at its optimum. It starts down about 45 and it shuts off just a little over 90. And it's kind of a bell curve. So we're optimum at 72. And if you keep the crop cooler and if you keep the crop working longer, which takes a lot more carbon to do that because plants are half carbon, that's where this technology came in. We started seeing different things over 20 years ago on these different treatments for sunburn. And you might say what we've developed is, a, is almost like the uh, sunburn spray today. Instead of putting the old zinc oxide on, now we have these sprays that you can't see. And that's where technology has come that way. Well, it's come the same way in agriculture. Okay. So you don't have the white nose anymore, and and uh, our technology has changed quite a bit. Is, I hope that answers the question somewhat. It's it is. Keep going. So as we developed that, we looked at light, and I got involved uh, with uh, Cliff Fairchild at uh, Oregon State University. He's a laser expert. He determined the uh, depletion of ozone uh, for. Uh, President Reagan in the uh, late 70s taught school laser technology at, and physics at school for 40 years. Got involved with Cliff through his son. His son was my banker, actually, uh, Cliff Jr. And he said, you know, dad is, uh, needs something to do and he's uh, an expert at lasers and it looks like this might work, um, work for us to determine how um, the plant sees light, and that's very true. And so I started working with Cliff about 13, 14 years ago on really defining this product and looking at how this product really works. And so we use lasers to determine how it works. And the laser technology on how it affects a plant on the interior, there's a lot of science guys, The most uh, renowned person is Dr. Wada in Japan. We're the only people that I know of in the world that use coatings and laser technology to enhance photosynthesis that enhances carbon capture. So <clears throat> for us dummies in the audience, okay. basically what this does, this, this, this solution or treatment that you've made is you spray it on plants, it acts as some type of a sunscreen. It keeps the leaves at a certain temperature, under a certain temperature, which enables them to conduct photosynthesis for how much more time than normal? Um, our studies at Fresno State are showing us a 
about 45 minutes to an hour in the morning as the sun becomes what they call solar noon. And then as the sun moves away from the east side of the plant to the west side of the plant, then it starts up about a 15 to 20 minutes sooner. Okay. So you get this extended period of photosynthesis, which takes more carbon. It, it, plants only get the carbon from the air. So they bring CO2 in. And so for every pound of CO2 they bring in, they put out four pounds of clean oxygen. And that's a good thing. But to explain how that plant works, plants only use 1% of the sunlight and they throw away 99%. Okay. So of that 1%, they still try to narrow that down inside the plant. The plant has a layer of cells, they call it palisade, that's up and down. And then the bottom part of your leaf has all these little spongy chlorophyll molecules running around. And what Solbert does, and these treatments do, is as the sunlight moves to the leaf surface and then goes into the interior of the plant, we reach way more parts of the plant and we reach more of the chlorophyll. Okay. And then you need more carbon. And so you take more carbon out of the air, put more oxygen back out. That's the waste product. We take oxygen in and we put carbon dioxide out. Plants do that too. The other thing that this does is plants do that at night. It slows that process at night because plants are more efficient with it. Okay, so dumbing it down again for everybody, because a lot of people probably don't know what photosynthesis is. Photosynthesis is turning carbon into oxygen. So for one pound of carbon, you're turning your a plant is turning one pound of carbon into four pounds of oxygen. Right? Well, the plant takes in the carbon. Okay, and moisture, water comes up from the roots, and the H two O is split because the plant wants the hydrogen and it puts the oxygen into the air. Now, oxygen weighs 44, carbon weighs 12. So for every carbon that comes in, there are several oxygens that go out. Okay. Does that make sense? It, may, it does. And we all like clean air. So the nice thing about this product if we can get everybody on board, agriculture's on board already, but that you're gonna to put tons and tons and tons and tons of clean oxygen back into the air and capture tons and tons of carbon. Just naturally, naturally. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You spray it and it's done. That's what I love about this product. It doesn't, it's not cutting down on on, on fuel, it's not making things more expensive, it's not changing what you drive, it's not doing any of that. It's just something that happens in the background that's positive for everybody on the planet, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, the, the technology to apply, it's 50 years old or older. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. It's, it's the old KISS theory, you know? Keep it simple, Keep stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.